Hello everyone, welcome back again here on our YouTube channel. By the way, this is Mark and I'm so happy and I'm so glad because this is our first video in the year 2021. And I just want to grab this opportunity to say thank you, especially for our subscribers for keep supporting our channel. And our channel now is still growing and this channel will not be this great without your support. That's why guys, I'm very happy and thankful for, for, for you guys for supporting this channel. And I hope and pray that all of you guys will find more meaningful in life and you will be more successful when it comes to your career and you will enjoy more here on Earth Happy. And for me, I'm gonna promise that I'm gonna double up my time and I'm gonna work more, especially on uploading videos, on sharing knowledge and ideas, especially to the beginner, so that you will enjoy more further on staying here on our channel. And once again, guys, thank you so much for keep on supporting this channel. And I hope that on this year 2021, you're gonna support us more and also I want to ask a favor for you guys to please watch all of our all of our uploads so that this would be a great because this would be a great help for us to continue this course. And yeah, that's it. And once again, thank you guys. Thank you so much. And also our topic for this time is how to develop green peacock or green dragon. Actually, we're gonna use red mosaic to, to enhance to develop that strain. So I'm gonna show you today our inbreed community tank. So let's go. So this time I want to show you my agape fish community tank and by the way in order to create green peacock or green dragon dumbo air you need to inbreed red mosaic dumbo air yeah you heard it right this strain is from red mosaic type of strain and if you inbreed for how many generation you can create not only green peacock you can also develop strain like dragon type of strain leopards phoenix purple mosaic and even dark knight kind of strain or old panda like strain you will understand me if you are a dombo mosaic lover and if some of you doubt about creating dark knight through the strain and if you are keeping dombo air mosaic strain for a long period of time you will start to notice when inbreed some will result into solid colors like dark knight and you just have to develop them and one thing if you have already keeping dark night strain for a long period of time and if inbreed they will start to produce red and purple kind of strain so it's just vice versa so as what i've told you before if you want to make your strain strong just use out cross breeding or cross breeding method if you want also to create or develop another type of strain just do the selective breeding with line one and line two so now we will only talk about green peacock or green dragon strain development. So let's go back here on my inbreed community tank and let's try to pick the best pair to breed as selective breeding. So here you will now see the peacock pattern from our females and make sure all of them are virgin to surely pass down the genes from our potential male here and not from other males. Thank you. 
And also we've already selected the potential male and it should be a Joby size male to make the breeding faster. And now let's try to select potential male and female for green dragon type of strain. And here, let's go to um, developing them into pure straight. Because on their state, some of them will still produce other colors. And let's select dragon potential pair here. And of course, let's make line 1 and line 2. And here I made a summary breeding graph. So from F1 to F4 on every drop, you should select the best or potential pair and cross line 1 and line 2. Until such time you will get the best results and it will go up to 6 breeding period or more to make it pure and of course discard the rest which does not show good pattern and color. After the initial cross, you should establish within the next 3 to 6 months whether or not the results are favorable to you. Look for early signs of favorability like growth rate, activity, color, shape, size, and pattern. Then you need to choose the right parents to perform another crossbreeding period with line 1 and line 2 potential pair. You should always attempt to share some of your work with a friend or breeding partner or club hobbyist as what I've told you from a previous tutorial videos to pass some of your strain and let them help you to develop or maintain the strain for future outcrossing. Record keeping. Record keeping should begin immediately with the name of the strain, source, age, mated date, and other pertinent information being recorded in a notebook solely for this purpose. Identify each female as either the A or B line or line 1 or line 2. Label all fry tanks and expect to use 8 to 10 tanks on this train. Label the groups of fry with the filial generation such as F1, F2 to F4. And even a date of birth and batch number 1 or 2 or 3 and so on. And after you do all this stuff, I guarantee you that you will soon have this type of strain and even other type of strain. And don't forget to use line breeding and outcrossing method to maintain your line strong. 
and I'm talking about their pattern and color purity. And thank you guys for watching this video till the end. Hopefully you've learned something about our video for this time. Of course, if you have any questions and clarifications, just drop your comment down below. And of course, we're gonna answer all of those. And I just want to ask favor to all of you guys, especially to our viewers, because I guess 85% of our viewers are not yet subscribed to this channel. That's why I encourage you guys to please, please subscribe to this channel so that on this way you get notified whenever we have uploads. And also to our fellow hobbyists, I just want to thank you once again for all of your support here on our YouTube channel. And please be safe everyone to get with the glory. Bye-bye. <laughs>